Good morning. This is FNN Sports. I'm Stephen L. Smith. And I'm Kraus Bayless. In the world of sports, the Miami Heat defeated the Oklahoma City Thunder 104-98. to Here are the highlights from that game. Miami Heat and OKC, NBA Finals action. There's Kevin Durant and LeBron James. And Russell Westbrook. So at the beginning, the Thunder got out to a quick start, and here's one of their good plays. See, Russell gets a wide open jump shot, and you know he's going to take that, and he nailed it. Yeah, I can't believe they weren't defending him. They could have done better. And right here, great play from Nick Collison to reject Dwayne Wade, which uh, ignites this fast break, and then you see Russell makes a great pass to Durant, who gets the slam. You know, it's nice to see Russell making some passes to his teammates as well as scoring for himself. Yeah, I know. Makes him seem more like a team player. But great block by Collison. You know, that's a way to step up uh, as a role player. Yes, you can't just be doing one thing. And then there's the, gr the pass by Westbrook to Durant. It's nice that Westbrook, you know, it's nice that he sees that and he needs he gets to give it up. It in. And later, in the first... Russell Westbrook gets another easy jumper. James doesn't even try to defend that one. I mean, what are they? They're just going to let him through every time seriously. And here comes James on the other end. Guarded by, he makes a nice pass to Norris Cole in the corner, who drains the three. They're getting a lot of three-point shots in this game. What is it, three-point shoot-off? Well, the Thunder were trying to double-team James, so that gave their role players an opportunity to get some extra shots. Into the second quarter we go. Difficult play here by LeBron James. Nice move in the paint. A nice up with the left hand. Uh, I don't know what to say. And here comes Dwayne Wade. And he passes it out to Mario Chalmers. Oh, he gets it in. And the crowd goes it's wild. And one Mario Chalmers. Can you believe it? Yes, I can. Yes, I can. And there, nice pass to Dwayne Wade. And oh, it but it's blocked off. by Ibaka. And then he's going down the court, going for it. Nice fast break by and Westbrook. And Harden knocks down the trivecta. Another three-pointer. You're just laying them off today. And uh, that Wade hurt his back slightly on that place. You can see there he's grabbing his back. Um, it was a clean block by Ibaka. No, no, not really a foul there. As you can see, he jumps straight up. It's just when you attack the basket like Wade does, sometimes you're gonna get. Yeah, you can't just expect to like go that. and do. You can't just expect to get up in there and do what you want every single time. I mean, eventually they're gonna learn. And it looks like he needs a little help up. But, uh, but as we can see, um, he'll be fine. He'll be stays fine. in the game. Stays in the game. And then nice pass by uh, LeBron to Chris Bosh, who goes with a nice little jump hook. You know, Chris Bosh not getting poked in the eye as much this year. Yeah, that's really good for him, you know? No more eye injuries. And hard, nice pass to Cephalosha, who drives it in. And, and Russell, Russell Westbrook Lake. with the putback jam! Yeah. Wow. Impressive. Great hops for a point guard. I gotta say that. Does he have springs in his shoes or what, you know? <laughs> yeah. We gotta go check them out. We gotta get someone on that. The missed shot. Oh, what a pass by LeBron James. Gets the rebound and quickly flips it to Wade. That's great court awareness by James. Yes, it looked like it was almost swatted to me, but um, it could just be the angle of this footage. As you can see, nice pass to Kevin Durant, who buries the three. He's just, you can't leave him alone out there. Yeah. You've got to get up right in his face, or he's just going to do that all game to you. It seems like everyone was doing this all game. I mean, everyone was getting three points. Here come the Heat. Charging in, running out. Nice pass out to James, who drives in for the easy layup. You gotta, you gotta work harder. You gotta get a body in front of him. It's just too easy for him. Yeah, you can't you like don't. have holes in there. It's just like you're shooting your defensive Swiss cheese here. And Wade makes a cut to the basket, passes it out to the top to Shane Battier, who knocks down the three. He's been shooting extremely well in this series, and that's. One of the reasons why Miami's up 3-1. And then we have a shot over here. And then we and go there back goes to the Durant game. passing to Ibaka. And who loses the ball, but he gets it back. And 
Passes it over to Westbrook, who quickly flips it up to barely beat the shot clock. Yeah, that's impressive timing right there. Yeah. It looked like he barely got he barely got it in as well. That that makes him for a real edge of the seat moment. If I didn't know any better, I would think he was planning that. And James with the tough fade back jumper. You know, James may not be a great shooter, but sometimes he can drain shots like that. But again, he should he should try to get to the paint more than getting shots like that. Because he's unstoppable in the paint. And nice rebound by the Thunder. And here they come up the floor. Russell Westbrook pulls up for another easy jumper. Oh, and he fell down. Oh, and James Jones fouls Kevin Durant. So you can see he pushed him over. Oh, he did. Yes. And, and Charles Barkley thought it was a bad foul at first, and then, then he uh, actually thought it was a good foul. Um, but as you can see right there, he just and pushes him oh, over. Yeah, I mean, that's like, clearly a foul. Yeah, clearly. It's like, trip. Seriously. <laughs> that was intentional. Oh yeah, and and hard. I mean, you now really have to be a douche to do something like that. I mean, that is not sportsmanlike. And then we go to the fourth quarter. Dwayne Wade with the jumper. Harden did. Harden had a lot of trouble in this game, you know, defending. But the problem was they put him on James too much. Yes, and Westbrook again with a pull-up jumper. He was like, uh, he was on the money from yes. that area. Looks like the fa looks like and the there's Thunder Russell's fan dad. In the stadium is happy. Very excited for his son. And of course, James doing what he does best, but he falls oh. over and he well, and he, did, well he almost fall. Look at that guy. He, he almost fell into the stand. Oh, Fisher brings it up court and a nice block there by Dwayne Wade. You know, good job to us. back the other way. And then James, since he hadn't got it, he got down there, which enabled them to easily make this fast break, and he made that shot. However, as you can see, as he comes back, he's kind of hobbling. His legs bothering him. You can, you can see yes. that he doesn't look right. He should sit down or something. I mean, so he if, comes I mean, in. If, if I mean, if you're injured, you should like you shouldn't play. As, as you hard. can see there, he took a fall right onto his oh, left knee. That must be painful right there. I fall onto my knee a couple times, and it hurts. There's a bunch of nerves there. It really is painful to be able to get up and play like that. Takes a lot of will. It does. And more, as we'll see later. Kevin Durant, once again, with the easy pull-up over Shane Battery. Like, you have to stay in this guy's face. You can't give him an inch of space, or he'll just knock it down. He's that tough to guard because of his length. Yeah, I'm sure they'll be... Uh, and uh, there's James coming yeah. back into the game after he went to the bench to get looked at by the trainers, or they helped yes. him. And he actually played very well in the game. And there's Bosch. You know, we tend to forget Ooh. that Bosch is a really good player. It's just you don't see, but a great yeah, run down the lane. He had kind of a bit of a sticky landing there on one foot, but yeah. he was able to, he didn't fall over. He and this good. is the, this play, this is LeBron. Injured, clutch, nice three-pointer, although I would have liked to see him pass it there. That's not really his shot. Yeah, Especially with the defender. Yes. Based on, yeah, he doesn't really seem to be the three-point type. He's mostly get in the paint, get in the paint, yeah, kind of person. But yeah, uh, Cephalosha need to get a little closer to him on that one. Nice uh, drive by uh, Wade right there, and it goes up, bounces around, and, and that's goes the thing in. with the Miami Heat. If you don't keep them out of the paint, they score a lot of points. They can do that. They have very talented players in James and Wade that are really good at driving the lane, and. Here's yeah. another. Hopefully, OKC okay, will be able to adapt to that in the next few games. And it's Russell Westbrook again. Russell Westbrook right to really the rack. This game, he uh, scored. I mean, he just seems forty-three put, points in this game. He just seems to be putting them in, putting them in. This is that was his night. His his time to shine. And again, a nice play by Wade. I think they they it's a jump ball. Between what are they doing? Are they wrestling? There's or a something jump ball between there? Harden and Haslam. What the heck happened here? The jump ball. So the Heat win the jump ball, but Russell oh, Westbrook makes a huge over. mental mistake and fouls Mario Chalmers. There was only five, four, see, there's only 4.2 seconds remaining on the shot clock, meaning that that was a really bad foul, and uh, that almost that probably cost them the game because they were down three, and then Chalmers nailed both free throws. You can see he's not, You can see the coach isn't yeah, very Scott happy. Brooks was not ha Scott Brooks was not happy with that play. Yeah, I wouldn't be happy either if my if my guy had messed up and made it so that we lose because of a foul. And the Thunder lose to the Heat, 104 to 98. James almost has a triple double. He's one rebound shy of it. And Russell Westbrook comes 
two points short of his career playoff high for points. Which makes this, which made this a very interesting game, and I hope you have enjoyed our coverage, and you can feel free to cut this bit out. With their win in Game 4 of the NBA Finals, the Miami Heat are only one game away from eliminating the Oklahoma City Thunder. Kraus, do you think that the Heat will be able to defeat the Thunder in Game 5 and capture the NBA title? No, Steven, I don't think they will be able to do that. Well, LeBron James can't shoot the jump. This is important. He also isn't in the clutch. He just wilts fourth quarter. I mean, he, he only has about 75 cents there for this game. Uh, last night was a fluke performance by the ben by the Heat's bench. Um, Mario, Mario Kummer scored 25 points. James Jones hit threes. And Norris Cole did too. They got lucky on James' three point at the end of the game. And winning by luck does not mean you're going to win a series. I mean, if you win by a fluke, you don't have it. You, you don't deserve to win if it's just like a fluke. Um, Westbrook is beasting. He shot 62.5% from the field. Kevin Durant is the best player in the game. The best player in the game. If not for Westbrook's bad foul, the Thunder had a great chance to get it to Kevin Durant, who would have gotten the game tied and got it into overtime, which I believe OKC would have won. The Thunder played very well in the first quarter. All Scott Brooks needs to do is get his team to play like that for the rest of the game, and then they'll be able to win this. First thing and foremost, LeBron James is the best player in the game and not Kevin Durant. I don't know what games are you watching, but it was not a fluke for Miami. Those shots that Chalmers and Cole and James Jones were getting were set up by terrific passing that LeBron James was doing. And how did he get those passes? Because the Thunder could not guard LeBron James in the post, so they were forced to double team him, and those double teams left him open, and LeBron James is such a good passer, even better than a scorer, that he could make those passes, and that's why he won that game. Secondly, he nailed a big three in the fourth quarter. I don't know what you're talking about, not clutch. That was pretty clutch to me. And he was hurt. He was hobbling, and he had a big three. That is very clutch. I don't know what you're talking about. First of all, playing injured is a bad move. That's just sheer arrogance playing where you're injured. You must, you must think he's invincible or something. Because if you play injured, you stand a chance of injuring yourself even more. You stand a chance of messing up and losing the game. So I think that, so I think that LeBron James is just playing around looking for glory, not uh, looking out for the best records of the team. He's looking out for numero uno, LeBron James, and his glory. Well, Russell Westbrook also played in the very same manner. He shot the ball a lot. The difference is that he made some shots this time, and he's definitely focused more on Russell Westbrook than on the team. And secondly, LeBron James needs to be out there. If James was not out there, they would have lost that game. If James is not there, they have no one to defend Kevin Durant. They can't put Bosch in him, he's not fast enough. And Wade is too short. He's the only one who can defend Durant. And if he's not out there, then the Thunder would have easily won that game. He had to go out there. And he performed. And that's why they won that game. Because even though he was injured, he still played hard. And that's what enabled him to win that game. There were some serious predictions. Steven, what do you think is going to happen? I think that... The Heat are going to win in Game 5 and defeat the Thunder 4-1 because, frankly, the Thunder haven't been playing up to their standards at Miami's, so they don't really have a chance to win. I believe that they're going to win Game 5, and when they get home to their home court, they're going to feed off that energy and win the next two games to take the title. Because I believe that they have skills, I believe it's their time, and I believe Kevin Durant will drive their team to victory. As we all know, when Peyton Manning became the Denver Broncos quarterback, the Broncos traded Tim Tebow to the Jets. What we're asking is, do you think that Tebow should be the Jets starting quarterback? He definitely should. I believe Tebow should start over Sanchez. Tebow is a winner. I mean, who do you want on the field? Tebow the winner? Or Sanchez, the hot dog eater. I mean, you want your men to play hungry, but there's a little line they have to cross there. I mean, seriously. Um, also, Tebow, all he does is win. 
Rex Ryan, and I believe that Rex Ryan is crazy if he doesn't make Tebow the starter. Well, firstly, I think that Sanchez should be starting because Sanchez is a much better throwing quarterback than Tim Tebow. Tim Tebow isn't really a quarterback. He's just an athlete. He can't throw the ball. You can't throw less than 50% completion rate and expect to have a job in the NFL. You can't even do that in college and be a starter. So it's really ridiculous that Tebow should be starting over Sanchez, especially since Sanchez took that team to two AFC Championship games in the beginning of his career. And I don't know what you call that, but I call that winning. All he does is win. Joe Fox didn't know how to use Tebow for the first three quarters of the game. So by the time they have the fourth quarter, he just threw up his hands and was like, oh, I'll just let Tebow do whatever. And then Tebow did his thing. He won the games. He wins games. So Tim Tebow should be the starting quarterback. Tim Tebow should not be the starting quarterback. Why? Because he can't throw. And you've got to remember, the New York Jets have a very volatile locker room. They've got guys like San Antonio Holmes. And I don't think he would take too happily to not getting as many throws. Like, Sanchez is going to throw the ball to San Antonio Holmes. Tebow is not going to throw the ball. He's going to run the ball. And that's going to make San Antonio Holmes mad. And that's just going to blow up an already volatile locker room. And it's going to drag them down even lower than they are. Because if their players don't feel in the game, they're not going to play well in the game. And if they're not behind Tebow, then it's not going to work out for them. Well, that's all the time we have for today. See you next time on FNN Sports. Good morning, and welcome to, uh, I'm not looking at the camera, I'm not. Good morning, and welcome to FNN Sports. I'm Stephen L. Smith. And I'm Kraus Bayless. And, shit. <laughs> Damn it, I can't get in the park. Okay. Damn it, this is our joke. Okay. Okay. First of all, LeBron James, he isn't a jumper. He can't jump. He can't. He isn't in the clutch. He just, he just fails. Fourth quarter. It's just, he's not there. At all. Um, last night was a fluke performance by the bench for the Heat. My oak. In my opinion, the Thunder are going to win game five, and they're going to win game, game seven. Fuck. LeBron James can't shoot the jumper. What the hell was that? God damn! What was my line? Your line? No, I don't think they can, Steven! You just changed your voice. Fuck. You were talking. No, I don't know. I thought I would have been able to get the ball to the heat. <laughs> to the heat. So firstly, you said that, Le that I screwed up. Time for some serious predictions. Wait, this doesn't seem to segue right. There. I have to disagree with you. I think OKC is going to come back in this one, and they're going to win. I'm not sure if who's going to win, because it's going to be... It's, oh, fuck. Well, in my opinion, they're going to win game five, and they're also going to win game... Oh, fuck. Who's they? What was it doing? You're talking about Tebow. Oh, yes. Um... <clears throat> okay. Oh, we're going. Sanchez didn't have. Oh, fuck. I think T. Oh. Tio should start because even though Sanchez had a very good start to his career, last year he played like garbage. Tebow, on the other hand, he does. Fuck. <laughs> oh,